Hey friends! Me and my bird friends are back with another plan with me. This is for October 11th through October 17th. Now, October 11th, which happens to be the day you're watching this, happens to be my birthday. So, happy birthday to me! For this week, I decided to go ahead and do something a little bit spooky because we're halfway through October and I haven't done any Halloween kits yet. So this kit is from Beautiful Planning and I do have a promo code for you guys. If you use Mama Friendly 15 at Beautiful Planning, you get 15% off everything in her shop. However, this particular kit happens to be a freebie. It's actually called Hocus Freebie, as in Hocus Pocus, on her site and 100% free, no cost to you whatsoever. You just go in, add it to your cart, check out, and the file comes up for you to download. So if you'd like to use this kit, there is still time, obviously. Like I said, it's completely 100% free. And if you see anything else in the shop while you're there that you like, she's already got Christmas things up, all sorts of fall things, etc. then you can go ahead and use that code MAMAFRIENDLY15 and get 15% off all of that. So. This is super, super cute. <laughs> of course, it's Hocus Pocus themed. And I was originally gonna use a Disney themed kit for my birthday, but it didn't quite work out. The shop that I got the kit from, I just, I don't know if it's me, if it's the shop. I'm pretty sure it's the shop. The consensus seems to be it's the shop. But um, it was just too much trouble, like more trouble than it was worth to use the kit that I originally had in mind. And I mean, I love this shop. This shop is the easiest one I've ever found as far as doing the crop method. Um, it is Disney themed because it's Hocus Pocus. It's Halloween-y so it fits the month and it's free. So literally like, I dare you to think of a reason why this isn't a perfect kit to use this week. I mentioned the crop method. What that means is that these kits typically come with seven, eight, nine pages worth of stickers. And I don't need all that many. I typically am okay with two to three pages tops. So I select the stickers that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use and I kind of Tetris them all together in Silhouette Studio so that they're kind of condensed onto those two or three pages. I save ink, I save paper rather than printing the whole kit out. And if you wanna see how I do that, I have a link in the description box of all of my planner videos and I'll also post it up here in the corner. So let's see what I'm working with. I've got my full boxes here and there were so many full boxes in this kit. So these were just the eight that I liked best. We have our habit trackers. This washi is absolutely adorable with all of the like, not wigs, but like their hair, the Sanderson sisters hair. And then the little cauldrons just making a little pattern. So cute. Down here I have some date covers because I'd originally printed these date covers and then I realized, wait, these are the exact same color as this. So I don't know if that's gonna work. So I ended up doing the purple ones instead so that there would be some contrast there. This long full box I'm gonna use in my sidebar. We've got glitter headers. We have some quarter boxes, some half boxes, our canceled and rescheduled stickers, deco, our weekend banner, which I'm absolutely loving this font. I like that it's script, so it's still kind of dainty and pretty, but it's a chunkier font. So not only do you see it better, but it's not quite as delicate as the other stuff that I use when you peel it up. These YouTube stickers are not from this kit, but they are from Beautiful Planning's shop. It's a whole sheet of stickers of different colors that she has like this. So if you do want these stickers, they're available in the shop. It's just a separate thing. So you'd have to look under the functional menu instead of the weekly or yeah, I think it's weeklies, monthlies, etc. And then there's like a functional. So that's where you'd find these. So that's what I've got for the week. Let's get started with our bottom washi as I tend to do. This is just so cute. And I really love a black background with neon. I think you guys probably know that by now if you are not new to my channel. If you are new, welcome by the way, hi. Nice to meet you. I do these planner videos every single Monday and every three months or so, I'm actually planning on recording that today as well. Every three months, I like to do a planner flip through. So these videos that you see every week, I'm kind of laying the foundation for the week and setting up my plans as I perceive them <laughs> before the week begins. But of course, as the week goes on, 
plans change, plans get added, I decorate the planner more, I add photos, etc. And so those flip throughs will show you the last three months of completed spreads. So what the spreads ended up looking like by the end of any given week. And I think that's a lot of fun so that you could compare like how I left it here and then what it actually ended up looking like at the end. So let's see. Oh, I just realized this is the exact same art, which means this one is going to end up all the way over here because I don't really like similar stickers to be too close together. Um, habit trackers, right? So I've gone ahead and put down my long full box, as you saw. Now I'm going to go ahead and put down my habit trackers. And this is kind of the formula that I use every week. So I like to put my habit trackers here. Doo, 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 doo. I love these very obviously Halloween-y colors. And then here I like to put one of these full boxes. And I feel like, hmm, I don't know. I'm really liking this one because it's so colorful. But the black flame candle and the book is kind of iconic, right? So I'm going to go ahead and let that represent. I call this the anchor picture. And I feel like it's supposed to be like my best foot forward, basically, as far as the kid's concerned, because it's going to be the first thing you see. So it's kind of like, hi, welcome to the spread. This is what we're doing this week. Silly, I know, but that's just how I think. Let me go ahead and put down our dates yeah i mean i i gotta say the purple and the green are kind of a lot <laughs> but i think it looks better like this because if i tried to use the green numbers i feel like the actual number numbers are so small like are you guys even seeing that's not really in focus there Ooh, yeah they're so tiny the camera won't even focus on it, literally. That's how small it is. So um, I feel like it would just blend way too much if I didn't use these contrasting colors together here. So there is that. Oh, our weekend banner, I almost forgot. I always almost forget it. But we're gonna put that right there. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, let go, let go. I don't wanna rip you. There we go, perfect. And a door slam, courtesy of someone in the house. Okay, so now that this is ready, this is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put down my date covers. All right, I always complain about the printing up here because they always put like holidays or special events printed up top and I hate it because <laughs> the day covers never quite cover it up properly and it always ends up looking really sloppy. However, I was able to kind of just push this just the teensiest bit lower and it worked out superbly because you can still perfectly see Indigenous Peoples Day and the Columbus Day is completely covered. So ideal scenario as far as I'm concerned. And let me see what are we going to do next. I guess next we'll go ahead and put down our glitter headers. I don't know why I'm hemming and hawing over it. I literally go in the same order every single week. So hmm, but what order do I want to put the glitter headers in though? I think I'm going to put the orange up top since these already have green and purple and then I don't know I'll, I'll see how I feel when the green and purple come up whether I put green and purple or purple and green we'll sort it out we'll discover it together you and I
All right, so there's our glitter headers. I'm, for some reason, getting like Mardi Gras vibes from these colors now. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you see it too. But I decided to do the purple and then the green because I figured there's only a little bit of purple up here. So there's not that much of a need for separation. And then this is mostly green. So we'll put the green all the way over here because again, I like to separate the similar. I feel like it helps visually balance things out. Do I overthink the placement of my stickers? Yes. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> In case you're new and you didn't already know that. So what comes next? Well, next we're going to put down our full boxes, of course. And we already decided that this one was going to go all the way over here. And you know what? I didn't even think about this, but this sticker has a cake on it and um, my birthday, right? So let's go ahead and put, mm, I'll put it all the way at the bottom. And go ahead and put the birthday cake right there. And everybody else, I feel like you could just kind of go wherever, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is such a fun theme. And I feel like this is the first little bit of like embracing the spooky that I've done this year, which is kind of sad, right? Like, what the heck? I am so late to the spooky. Like... I, f I feel bad for me. We'll put this over. Mm, no, we'll put this here. Yes, maybe, yes. And we'll put that there. Nice, nice. Okay, so what else? We have a birthday, duh, today. I'm gonna put that right there for my birthday. And there's a birthday on Sunday. I'm gonna put that right. In. Yeah, I'll put that right there. That's fine. Let's see what else is next. Oh, very important. Our YouTube stickers. It's the last part. And I'd like to let you all know what I'm gonna be up to as far as my upload schedule every week. So obviously today you're seeing this plan with me. And I have the day off today from therapies and whatnot because that's my present to myself. So that's happening. Tomorrow we have a Halloween desserts collab. So you're gonna get a really fun recipe that I, it's a paleo recipe actually, because in case you are new, I keep saying that, but yeah, in case you are new, I eat exclusively gluten and dairy free and I have for years. And so I tend to gravitate towards paleo recipes because they already are gluten and dairy free and I don't have to adapt them. So I decided to make, it's actually, allergy, very allergy friendly. They're nut free, egg free, gluten free, dairy free, soy free treats. So if any of that sounds fun to you, by all means, come back tomorrow, check that out. That means that Wednesday we'll have a vlog because my vlogs usually come out on Tuesdays, but to accommodate the collab, I'm pushing it back. We won't have a video on Thursday. We will have a vlog, another vlog on Friday. So I'll put that here. And on Saturday, I'm gonna have another Disney homeschool video. So it's going to be Lady and the Tramp themed. And I'm very excited to share that with you guys. We did a really, really cute art activity. I'm sure you guys can already guess what we did for our recipe. <laughs> so yeah, that's coming out on Saturday. So that is my week. I love how it turned out. I love the colors. I love the art. I feel like everything looks super clean and I'm just ready. I'm ready for the week, which is something I haven't felt in a long time. That staycation I took last week, was it last week? Maybe the week before? Yeah, whatever. I'm still feeling it. The staycation did me good. I needed it. So I want to know what you guys are up to this week. If you have anything special going on, if you have any fun plans coming up in the next few days or weeks, let me know about that too. I love hearing from you guys. I'm usually awful at replying to comments, but know that I do read every single one of them and they always make my day. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!